All right, I want to talk about how to use Desmos to uh, do data approximations, or I'm sorry, to do linear and quadratic regressions. Uh, so the way we're going to do this is we'll go ahead and go to Desmos. I've already gone here, www.desmos.com, and I just click on Start Graphing. Obviously, I don't have anything to graph, but you can put in tables of data into Desmos, which is what you're going to want to do here. Um, so what I did is I created a false set of data just a randomized set here and I'll copy that and then you can go over to Desmos here and you just hit control V to paste it and notice it pastes in the data set that uh, I copied from Excel here and now what you can do is you can create regressions for these for example I'm gonna deal with the green line here the Y sub 1 line to create a linear regression for an example uh, you just go ahead and uh, type in the following. I'm going to use y sub 1 and say that is not equal to, I'm creating a relationship between y sub 1 and x sub 1, and the way I'm going to do it is with an approximate, or a tilde, and I'll let's do a linear here. I'll say that's a times x sub 1 plus b. So it's ax plus b, or mx plus b if you want to use that. But if you do that, you'll see here in the lower uh, part of this box, it gives me values for my linear approximation, specifically the values that A is roughly equal to 2.98004 and B is roughly 1.805. And you can see that it also graphed that linear regression. Now if I zoom in, you'll see some of my data points are above and below that. Um, this one's above, that's below, that's below, right? Um, but you can see that the green line, or sorry, the green uh, data set definitely looks linear. And in fact, if you take a look at this R squared value, that's kind of your error or not, I shouldn't say your error. It's how well your approximation will fit um, this data. And that's a 99.96% approximate fit to this data. It's a least squares uh, coefficient. So anyhow... That's how you create a regression. And you could also do one, let's say I wanted to do, again, y sub, that's underscore for sub, one, and then tilde. And let's say I wanted to create, instead of a linear regression, a quadratic regression. So quadratic, I'll do c um, x sub one. Uh, let's see, hop out of that, raise the second power, plus d x sub one, plus I think E is going to be taken by the um, exponential function, so um, I'll put F here. And again, you can see that there is actually a, uh, a set of values for the coefficients C, D, and F that can be used here. Let me turn off the... Actually, let me see here. Okay, actually, this, this uh, quadratic regression we created, it still is a pretty good regression, right? It's still very tight. It is a parabola. If you zoom out, you can see it is. Um, the second set of data I know is quadratic, so I'm going to go ahead and create, I'll delete these two, boom, and boom. I'll create a, a quadratic regression for the second set of data. Um, that's data in orange here. And I'll put z sub 1, again, is approximately equal to, and then I'll put ax sub 1 uh, squared plus bx sub 1 plus c. And you can see, you can actually see the parabola, right? And it looks really good. In fact, it's a really good fit. Uh, where's my R? Oh, it's an R of 1. Okay, so it's 100% fit. Um, and so that's how you create these. 